Apple Markup Tool Basics. This is a series for newbies guide on how to use Apple's Markup Tool with Apple Pencil, Part 1. First up, what is a Markup Tool? Well, the Markup Tools are used to write, draw, and sketch on your Apple device. And this here is the icon for Markup. You will click on this to bring up the Markup Toolbar. For this tutorial, we'll be using the markup in our notes. So go ahead and open the notes app by tapping on this icon on your device. Next, tap the second icon that you see on the screen on your device to start a new note. When your new note appears, tap this little icon with the circle and pencil that you find on the top right hand corner of your screen to bring up the markups toolbar. Now your screen should look like this, with the toolbar appearing on the bottom of the screen. The first tool that we are going to talk about in our series is the eraser tool. This tool is found in the middle of the toolbar. It is a little pencil with the eraser on top as the icon. And as the name implies, you would use this tool if you make a mistake. So for example, if I wanted to erase this unhappy face I have on my screen, I would tap the eraser tool with my Apple Pencil. Next, I would move my Apple Pencil onto the unhappy face and give it a little tap. And just like that, my unhappy face has disappeared from my screen. But wait, what if I want my unhappy face there after all? Well, that is an easy fix as well. All you need to do is tap the undo button located at the bottom left hand side of your screen. I have provided an image of this icon so you know what to look for. And ta-da, my unhappy face is now back again. Next, let's talk about the pencil tool in your markup bar. This, of course, is not the same as your Apple Pencil. Tap on this icon as shown here to pull up the pencil. Now you can use your pencil tool to draw or doodle on your note. If you want to change the width of your pencil or your line, double tap on the pencil icon again which will cause this toolbar to pop up. From there, choose the width of your desired line by tapping on one of the selections offered. The first row will let you adjust the thickness or the thinness of your lines. And the second row will let you adjust the opacity of your lines. You can drag the little circle in that bar to adjust how light or dark your lines will appear. Now you know how to start writing or doodling with different thicknesses or opacity levels with your pencil tool. And presto! You have just learned a few basic tricks to operate Apple's markup tool. Hello there, viewer! Will you support a small YouTube channel by hitting the like and subscribe button? Thank you! Oh, are you still here? Well, let me introduce myself. I am Nicole. If you're curious as to what I do for my day job, come and visit me at minicouples.com. I create and sculpt whimsical and adorable wedding cake toppers that are made from your photographs. Well, thank you for watching and a new tutorial will be coming your way soon. See you in the next one. Bye.